Hello viewers and readers like good day to you all. My name is LJD Miller and welcome back to my playthrough of To the Moon in this the final chapter in the Sidcorp Minisodes. Okay. We are back. Oh crap, it's not showing. Hang on. It's not showing on stream. It's not crap. No. No, no, no! <laughs> it's not showing on stream! Come on! Show! Come on! There! There, there, there! Is that, is that working? <laughs> the wind- Oh, all the wind- All the windows have windshield wipers. That's cool. I hope you can see the awesomeness is the windshield wipers. Yes, you can! It's working! Thank goodness! Okay. Back to the game. <clears throat> well, at least they're starting to leave. Guess we'll save the cleanup for after the break. We ought to get the external fruit collector set up. Perfectly cooled in the snow and kept fresh, too. Uh-huh. Get this, it's like we're inside, and the fridge is outside. Mind blown. Sure, good job. I knew it. I wonder if the others are leaving early now that the roads are cleared. Again, why is a 16-bit game lagging out my computer when it comes to the dialogue? What is wrong here? I played this originally on like a... On a, like a two-year-old used laptop that was chock full of viruses last time. Why is this bugging out now? Eh, might as well. I can't believe the calls pushed our Christmas party this late. Are you heading home early too? Yeah, why not? I'm spending the eve with my sister's family. They don't live far from here. With their little brat, huh? Yeah, well, their little brat still got me a better gift than yours. Hey, at least I tried to get something for my partner. Unlike a certain somebody. Guess again. What is that? It's an ambient sound maker. It cycles through soothing background sounds, like the beaches or a chorus of crickets. Oh, I need one of those. I always put up, um, I actually have something like that. Um, I have, uh, an essential oil diffuser in my library. And it actually has a built-in ambient sound maker. It's, it's actually in the shape of an owl, too. One of the best things I ever got. That is awesome. Oh, can you use a second one, though? That's awesome. Check this out. Sounds like something I could do on my phone. That is true. Oh, yeah? Well, this also allows for recording a custom track of your own to loop back. Just press record, and just press record, and you can make your own custom ambient sound to work to. Guess again. <clears throat> again. Phone. I guess neither of us are particularly good gifters. Hey, I'll still take it. I'll probably record Rob getting scolded to the custom track and fall asleep to it or whatnot. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, how about you? You got any plans? Well... <laughs> um, what? Oh, come here, you stud. <laughs> Is it the wine, or have you been getting handsomer by the day? My dear, I'm sober as a brick, and you're still steamy like a hot bun. Okay, this is, <laughs> this is a little much. Eva, Neil, say something. Say something. There are people here. Say something. When I looked into your eyes just then, it's as if I'm hearing the gentle waves of the ocean. Oh, you naughty little vixen. 
If not for my back, I'd just pick you up and- Hey. Hey. <laughs> it's uh, snowing outside. Yeah, it sure is. <laughs> okay, I think that's enough for today. Yep. I'm heading out. You do that. <laughs> Oh, that was, that was, uh, that was right well disturbing. <laughs> it's what makes our jobs possible. Okay, who you calling? Hello. Who is this? Hello? Oh. Does Neil, like, have a kid or something? You can still hear the waves. We left the room already. You can stop with the waves. Go to offices, lounge, lobby. Let's go to offices. I want to see if we can... <laughs> I, I'm scared too, but I kind of want to see if we can get more of the embarrassing... Oh. Hey, Eva! Hey, Eddie. How's... Oh, no, 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 no! Oops, my bad. Oh, well, no biggie. Hey, can you press the elevator button for me? Why? I thought you just pressed it. Yeah, but it seems like it comes up instantly almost every time you press it. That's silly. Just luck. Well, come on. Give it a try. What the... Thanks! Okay. <laughs> no, okay, so we still can't go into other people's offices. Is there anyone in the bathroom? Can I greatly disturb people who are in the bathroom? No one is there. Okie dokie. You know, I wonder what it'll be like to play games like this on the Steam Deck. Because that's, uh, that's coming out in December, isn't it? Most people be playing like Call of Duty or something like that. Jedi Fallen Order on those. Curious to see what games like this would run on. Uh, how would how these would run on it? You all right, Roxy? Oh, hiya, Eva. Yep, I'm just waiting on Rob. His ride's under maintenance, so we're carpooling. Hey, Rob! You ready? Just a minute. Anyway, what you up to? Um, not much. Just heading home to have dinner with my sister's family. We've always have our we always have our Christmas dinner together, and we've been waiting. Oh, how nice of them! The turkey surely wouldn't have stuck around had it been me. I bet. You got any plans tonight? Well, I gotta meet up with some folks later. But first, I got a date with the good old couch and ice cream. I'm gonna grab a whole bucket and scoop it, and then I'm gonna spoon it. Sounds like a lovely time. Yep, yep. Jeez, Roxy. I said just a minute! Wasn't me! Okay. Um... Okay, I can still go into this room. Can I go into my own office? I guess that's just a given. Is that a bag I can touch? I don't remember. Oh, my diary. 
Okay, I can't do anything with the diary, but it's there now. It's out. I need to get my briefcase. Oh, uh, now I can get the briefcase. I just got ready, but now Dr. Winter... Oh, sorry. You ready yet? Almost! I don't know why I'm doing Dr. Winters' scream so loud. Go to... Meeting room? Oh no, this is where you go... Wait. No, this is where I was. This is where Neil was. So, no, not this place. No, not off! Well, I might as well try talking to Robert again, see if uh, something is different. How's the situation outside looking? All cleared up, probably because of the cold. Good. It's about time. Can I keep talking? You ready yet? You ready yet? Ah! Okay, sorry. Right. <clears throat> oh. Go to lounge. Ow, my ankle just popped on me. That hurt. Oh, the door is open. The door. The door is open. <laughs> I'm so relieved that we're finally getting a break. It'll be so nice to spend some time with the family. I uh, have a good evening, Lisa. You deserve it. Everyone does, especially Willis and Taima. To be honest, I'm worried about them. Yeah, they do work way too hard for their age. Honestly, I do think I I'd be able to do what I don't think I'd be able to do theirs when the time comes. Man, I don't... Man, I know Herman Kors got our night covered by contract and all, but I still feel kind of uneasy. They're a competition, after all. Yeah, but I guess that's one of the few ways to get some reliable time-offs in this job. Besides, we'll be doing the same thing for them. But we'll be doing the same thing for them, so they'd better do a good job. Who's Herman Corp? Herman Core. I don't understand that reference. Is, so I'm assuming Herman Core is another uh, is another one of these uh, memory alteration type jobs. Obviously, if they're relieving Sigmund, but I understand the joke with Sigmund. Sigmund uh, is the um, like Sigmund Freud, uh, the one who studied dreams or whatever. I don't understand the reference to Herman. Lobby. Eva, uh, about earlier. Hey, don't worry about it. No, lass. Oh, oh, right, I forgot. Macmillan, he's Irish. <laughs> no, lass. You don't understand. I can't do. What in the world was I thinking? That's the most offensive thing I could do in this job. What in the world was I thinking? You see, sometimes when a man loves a woman. Oh, shush you! Yeah, because she needs that talk. <laughs> Maybe next time. I don't know what's there to do next time, so... No point going there now. Okay. So I can just leave? Heading off? You're still here? Yep. And I'm staying here tonight. Wait, what? Everyone's heading home. What can I say? It's just kind of... Uh, it's just the kind of hard-working cemetery... Se sem <clears throat> what can I say? It's just the kind of hard-working Samaritan that I am. Coming through! Neil? Bob? It's Robert. Rob? 
<laughs> I love Neil's character. Anyway, have a good evening at your sister's place. You're really... You're really gonna just stay here on the only break we've gone in months? Yep. Oh, the mansion to myself? Yes, please. All right, then. Hey, if you want... Hmm? Eh, never mind. Eva? Hey, sis. I'm heading over there now. Oh, I love the music. He actually locked his door, though. by himself? But isn't this like Christmas for you guys? Yeah, well, I don't know what he's up to. Hun, you should invite him to dinner. What? Don't be absurd. You're thinking too much into it, silly. I don't mean for anything else, just for co-workers sake, you know? I know the guy. He's not one to come over. Anyways, get the dishes started, will you? I'll be there in just a bit. Okay, hun. I'll see you then. Eva? What was that? You okay, hun? Are you there, Eva? Um... I did not remember that. I remember that this. I remember this shocked me years back, playing these Minnesotes when they were when they were out, and I don't remember. I could, I cannot remember why. <laughs> I'm starting to get the a little inkling as to why. Eva, can you hear me? Yeah, I'll be there in just a bit. Okay, hun. I'll see you then. We're just not going to address that? Are you kidding me? Come on. No, no, no. We have... No. Something has to happen with Neil. We gotta see what happens here. Is Neil gonna do a Matrix move here? Because... Come on. 30th time's the charm. 30th... 30th time... What are you trying? I thought... I thought it was going to be a thing like he's addicted to... Going into the machine or something. I wait. What is? What are you attempting? I what? I don't understand. And the moment of truth. Circuit system, uh, circuit abnormality detected. Main power disconnected. What the? <clears throat> okay, we're not going to, we're not going to uh, repeat any of this. We're just going to move on. How does that even? I better get down to the basement and reset the switch before someone sees. 
Who's gonna see? They're all, like, gone. <laughs> At least the elevator's on auxiliary power. I could reach the basement from the lobby. What does this mean? What was red? Why red? What is in... What, what is in Neil's brain is what I want to know. Okay, he feels the need to pack it up before someone sees. I... That shelf looks very conspicuous, though. Can we get Neil to read his diary? Her diary? Eva's diary? No, we can't. Okay. This is spooky. Go to lobby. Okay, so it tells me to go this way. Oh, I didn't know that was an elevator. Or a lift, sorry. Room. For a tech facility, the power supply sure is unreliable. Access profile loaded. Dr. Neil Watts. Access time, 1947. All right, let's get you birded up first. Power status, charging for reignition. And now let's see what happened to you. It's almost so as if someone did a manual shutoff. Fetching operation record. I don't understand. This can't be right. This must be a glitch in the system. Who's there? Wait, alt? Press alt? Oh, space bar. Space bar between alt. Why would you show the alt buttons then? Power restored. I just, did I did I really smack her in the face? I did. <laughs> How's the towel, hun? That helps. Thanks. What's wrong with you? Ain't nobody gonna whack my sister like that. Sheesh! It was an accidental accident. Sheesh! It was an accidental, right? Your face was an accident. Do you just go around the office swinging a broom around all day? Look, I was in a beast mode and she was suddenly appeared on my turf. It's not my fault I was born with such crazily fast reflexes. Why did you guys come over anyway? You're one to ask, staying all alone in the office on your holiday off. Who does that? It was her idea. Yeah, right it is. <clears throat> yeah, right it is. I ain't having no partner of my sister sulk by himself on a night like this. I wasn't sulk. You just... <laughs> shut up. <laughs> you just shut up and listen. Eva called in some old friends and we're all going to have a nice dinner together. And we're going to enjoy every moment of it. Wow, you kind of remind me of someone I know. Can I open the box, Daddy? Can I? Go ask Aunt Eva. It's not yours. 
Man, Neil, we only just got here, and you're already got tra you've already got Tracy worked up. Workplace hazard, can't help it. Yeah, it's a dangerous place. Don't even want to imagine what you'd do with a mop. Our insurance policy forbids me from handling one. There, there, hun. It's actually not that bad. What was that? Why is he still here? Shoo, shoo! I love how- I love the music, it's Silent Night right now. Hey, sorry about your face. Don't talk to me. It was the soft end of the room, sheesh. Come to think of it, I should have been charging you for facial- I should- I should have been charging you for facial massage. Go away! Can I leave? I talked to everyone. I can leave! <laughs> Hiya! I thought you went home. Yeah, I thought so too. But as I was happily pigging out on the couch, Eva called and asked for a pickup. What? But she's already here. Hello! What the? Hi, Uncle Neil! The last time you two came by, you called me Poo Poo Face. That was Tommy! He's mean! Wow, that kid's growing up to be a lizard. Uh, sorry, Lily. It's been a while, Neil. Yep, Eva just dragged you guys right out of your loving home, huh? Oh, it's nice to come and visit. The kids were getting bored at home anyway. Wow, 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 let's go talk inside! Oh, I thought that was a kid. I forgot they're both gone. <clears throat> wow, 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 let's go talk inside! We could be missing dinner by now. Oh, yes. I should go say hi. What in the world is Tommy doing? Hey, are you a real doctor? What do you mean? Like, do you do surgeries and stuff? No. Then you're not a real doctor! Do you listen to Dr. Dre? No. Me neither. But Neil says Dre's not a real doctor, and he's still got mad respect, so back off. <laughs> I can't tell if he looks sad or not. What is that? What is that? A beaver? It's a plat plat! No, oh, it's plat plat! It's not mine, but mom said I used, uh, mom said it, I'm developing <laughs> mommy. Okay. It's not mine, but Mom said I'm its caretaker now. I protect it from all evil! Can I see it? Are you evil? Not really. Hmm. Okay. You can have Plat Plat for five minutes. Yay! Plat Plat likes you! How can you tell? Because it's not trying to get away, duh! Thanks for having us over, Eva. Hey, I just hope I wasn't interrupting anything. Not at all. It's nice to take those two rascals out. Johnny's house is a beautiful view, but it's a bit remote for the kids to camp out at. They do like they do get to play outside nicely, but I keep I keep fearing they trip or roll up they trip or roll down the cliff. Yeah, that'd be suboptimal. Hey, thanks for helping to drive Lily and the kids over. No biggie. No biggie. As long as you'll hold up your side... No biggie. As long as you'll hold up your side of the deal. Heh, <laughs> yeah, I got it. I'm serious. 
two buckets of ice cream. No cheap outs. Yeah, Roxy, I will. Like, we're talking jumbo size here, with a capital J. And when I say buckets, I mean buckets. As in, I want to use them as recycling bins when I'm done with them. Yeah, I'll... Where do you shop? Feeling all better? I'll live. You know, Eva Hunt, you gotta come over more. I rarely see you anymore. Well, winter tends to be our busiest season. Hopefully we'll get more break soon. Don't work too hard now. You know, I'm always here if you need me. Hey, Jamie, what are you doing with that stuffed animal? Don't wuss out on me, son. Chillax, Dad. It's just plat plat. Okay, then. <laughs> That's the end of that. Hey, has anyone seen Neil? We ran into him in the hall, but we ran into him in the hall, but he didn't follow us back in. Seems like he went down back down for some reason. Sorry about that. Back down here. No, nothing here. Go back. Okay. I wonder if you could avoid hitting Eva, because that was me that spammed the space bar when that was happening. Maybe next time. I didn't... Where else do I go outside? Okay, I can go outside. Hello? Who's calling? Who is this? Son? Is that you, Neil? Why aren't you talking to them? Was it something they did? No, it's not them. Then what? Why did you come back? I told you already. It was my sister's idea. You could have stopped her. What? Look, thanks for coming back and bringing the folks and all. But just, don't do something like that again. Do what? Where are you going? Home. I got things to work on. What's wrong with you? I know there's... I don't know what's going on up there. <sighs> Sorry. I don't know what's going on up there, but for pineapple's sake, loosen up. Those people came all the way out here to spend an evening with you. When's the last time you even had dinner with other people? My sisters brought her family to keep you company. Even Lily and the kids came. You still remember them, right? You even made that stupid game based on that case. <clears throat> Voice crack. What are you going to do when you get home? Go eat frozen pizza by yourself? Just give yourself a break for tonight. Sheesh. Anyway, I'm not going to stand out here in, in the cold tossing words at you. You do what you want. I'm heading inside. Just know, there's a chair upstairs for you whether you're coming or not. Why the doors open by themselves? Aww. 
But that, uh, that opens up a whole other thing for Neil. So Neil is constantly trying to work on something, something he finds important. And he's also not talking to his parents because of something regarding him, not them. So that is something I expect we're going to see more of in the later games, but I'm not sure. Oh, he recorded the party, or the, the gathering, just, oh, that's sweet. Oh. Just to be able to, just to be able to have that as a reminder of not being alone, that is nice. A message. Jordan, a friend who's created many of Freebird's pixel arc, from To the Moon's Lighthouse, Anya, to Neil, and Eva's co-workers in this Minnesota, is currently hospitalized and undergoing chemotherapy. If you've enjoyed his work, please consider sending a donation to his family to help. His mom's PayPal address is laurab23 at gmail.com. You can also send him supportive words at jordan at freebirdgames.com. Thank you. Oh. This game, this came out. The game itself, I think, came out in 2011. I don't know when these Minnesotes came out. But. I don't, know, I, I don't know anything else regarding Jordan. But. Oh. I hope he's well. Was this Marvel? We have an after credit scene. I was getting ready to leave. Okay, hang on. Sorry. Wait. <clears throat> okay. Well. Well, what? That wasn't so bad, was it? Everybody had a good time. Yeah, I, I guess so. Hey, can you guys give me a lift? Neil said. Uh. Oh. Whoa. Wait, what? Wait, what was that? Hey, can you guys give me a lift? Neil says he needs a company car tonight. What was that? Hold on. No, 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 no. I don't remember that. I, guess I saw her. I saw her her uniform in the, on the hook in the back, so it's... I saw her uniform in the, on the hook in... Ugh. I saw her uniform on the hook behind her in that scene. So... It, it must be... That must have been, like, at her house or something, but... Why? 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 why wait. Why, why? I don't understand... But that also, in the in at the end of To the Moon, didn't they do that uh, as well? Like they they made everything look like it was a simulation in the end. Because I remember like the red flash me the lead the the red flashing. I d what? Sure, hun. Let's get you home. What was that? No, come on. That's the end. That's the end of that. Viewers, that concludes my playthrough of the Sigcore Minnesotes and To the Moon as a whole. See you next time as we continue the story in a bird story.
which is the next in the Freebird Games lineup I have set up. Thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like. This has been LJD Miller. Take care of yourselves.